I actually want to start with, with two kind of takeaways from, from Allison's talk. Um, one is I, I love that point. There was that one point that didn't want to come up on the slide. It was really shy. It was really hesitant. And she fought hard to bring it up. And what was it? Me what matters. Yeah. Uh, and so what is it that matters? This. The value of the customers. I mean, I really believe that. There's all this big data stuff out there. And a, lo a lot of it will just tell us how much product is moving. You know, for the most part, marketing really hasn't changed that much. Customer experience has no value. Customer journey mapping, no value. Supply, a, a surprise and delight strategies you might do with your customers, no value to that. Hiring an army of people to monitor Twitter to make sure that any time one of your customers hiccups that you're you know, ready on top of it, no value to any of that. But thank goodness I can save myself with the little ellipsis at the bottom over there. I find that a lot of the activities that we're focusing on, a lot of all the stuff that I just mentioned, I really believe that a lot of companies are doing that as a way to avoid doing measurement. If we can pump up all of this experience, this, and you know, social engagement, that, and we say, oh, but that's, it's so important, but it's so hard to measure, you can't hold us accountable. Then don't do it. How many catalog marketers these days are wondering, should we have that print catalog or not? Man, it's really, really expensive. And we look at the amount of stuff we sell through the catalog, it's hard to justify the printing and mailing costs. Well, that's the wrong way to look at it. The right way to look at it is to say, how much CLV have we elevated? Let's look at the customers that we send catalogs to and say, what was their CLV before the catalog campaign? What was their CLV after the catalog campaign? Add that stuff up, and that's going to give you a much more accurate read on what that catalog is actually worth. CEOs are arguing about customer valuation. It's not just being given to someone who's two levels below the CMO just to work on some mundane activities. My point is that customer lifetime value is and should be a gold standard metric that everybody within the organization should be looking at and using. It's not just something for the marketers to go out there and figure out which kinds of customers to acquire. But it's something that we can use with the sales force. It's something that we can use with the CFO. It's something that we can use with our product development and supply chain people. Okay, I think we've run out of excuses. The data's terrific. The competitive imperative is here. The opportunities to get all these different functions on the same page, yeah. 